We're in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, and we're going to read verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, not three. Um, I want to talk to the Jews out there. If you are Jewish and you're watching this video, I want you to listen. I'm going to try to make this short and very much to the point. Um, Jews reject Christianity unless they're professing Christians. But what I'm saying is uh, most Jews that are out there today, especially the ones in Israel, they reject uh, what is called Christianity and uh, for good reason. And I think a lot of you, if you would actually read the New Testament, you would see that what is called Christianity out there in the world is actually not New Testament, uh, the New Testament form of being a Christian. The disciples that were called Christians first in Antioch, they were Jews. And um, those disciples had very different beliefs from what modern Christians do today. Uh, in fact, they don't even resemble what they were doing in the New Testament does not resemble what is going on today under the title Christian. Um, so if you reject modern Christianity, I would say good job to you. Proves you have some discernment. That's a good thing. Um, but if you want to know, the number one thing that you need to reject as a Jew, um, and even Muslims out there, they should also reject this thing, but uh, what you need to reject above all else is this pagan concept of the Trinity. Uh, that's very important to understand because that verse that I read to you doesn't say that there are three lords or three persons that call themselves God. Uh, it doesn't say anything of the kind. You see, the truth of the matter is the Bible, not just the New Testament, but the Bible teaches, Old Testament and New Testament, that there's only one God. Um, there is no such thing as God the Son or God the Holy Spirit in the Scriptures. Not one mention in the King James Bible. Now, the new ones that come from the Vatican, Lord only knows what's in those things. But um, there's only one God. There's only one Lord. And the three that comes in there, God is, a man is made in the image of God. So God has a body, a soul, and a spirit. That's the three, but it's just one. I have a body, a soul, and a spirit. You're looking at three parts of one man right now. You have three parts in one body, whether you're male or female. And that's the most important thing that you need to understand. Because you see, I said that there's no trinity in the Bible. That's true in terms of the word. But there is a trinity, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Back in the Old Testament, a lot of the Jews, when they went after other gods, plural, they were worshiping a three-god trinity. Hmm. And the fourth being Ashtoreth. Uh, I think it was Remphan, Chemosh, and uh, Kiun or something like this. Or I forget the thing. I have a whole video on it. I'll pr try to put it at the end. And in the New Testament, the people in the future are going to be worshiping the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. A three-person trinity. So, in that sense, yes, there is a trinity in the uh, Bible, both Old Testament and New Testament. But in relation to the Lord, no. Jehovah is one being made up of three parts, body, soul, spirit. That's why in Genesis chapter 1, it talks about, let us make man in our image. Our is plural. Image is singular. Huh, how does that work? Because our is body, soul, spirit. Image is singular, one Lord. All right, I've written a book on that. You can pick that copy of that up if you want to, The Godhead Doctrine. It's available on my website, kjvm.org. You say you're just trying to sell a book. No, because you can watch all the sermons. And I've preached far greater detail for free on YouTube. You can be cleared up on the whole subject, why the Trinity is pagan, and why, as a Jew, hero Israel, you need to reject this Trinity teaching. It's always been pagan. It is a lie. A lie from Satan. There is no such thing as a trinity within God. All right? Extremely important. And the Catholic pagans that a lot of the Jews yoke up with for money purposes, those pagan Catholics, they believe in the trinity. 
And they even say in their uh, catechism that the Trinity is a, a uh, philosophical concept. It has its roots in philosophy, not the Bible. The Bible warns about the New Testament, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Right? Um, so, a very important thing. You can study a lot about Christianity, but if you don't get that one thing figured out, that there's no such thing as a trinity in the New Testament. It's not there. The New Testament is not presenting a different God than the Old Testament. Uh, my book that I wrote on the Godhead issue, or the Godhead doctrine, it quotes Old Testament and New Testament. I don't just stick with the Pauline epistles in the New Testament to prove what I believe. No, I go to both, Old Testament and New Testament. There are tremendous uh, proofs in both Testaments there. So, just wanted to put together a quick video to point you towards the more, the deeper, more doctrinal um, studies that I've done for free. As you can watch, you can put the time in there and, and it will take some time too, by the way. Don't think it's a fast food religion or something else. If you really are interested in the truth, it's going to take you some time to dig around through everything and sort through the, the, all the lies out there to find the truth. Um, and I'll just say this in closing, before you go and reject Jesus Christ, I want you to understand that if Jesus Christ was physically alive on the earth today, physically present, uh, the vast majority of Christians would put him to death. They'd be swinging the hammer, pounding the nails into his hands and his feet, and uh, scourging him. Modern Christians hate Jesus Christ. They hate the Word of God, the King James Bible, the King Jesus Version, if you want to watch those studies of mine. Um, so don't just uh, throw the Lord Jesus Christ out and the New Testament out because of what modern Christians are and because of what modern Christianity teaches. Study the issue and you'll find that uh, uh, the New Testament Christianity and Jesus Christ are far different than what's going on today. Please take that challenge. Study. That will be it. Thank you for watching.